You guys know what Ulu is? Today it was just a bit more of a lifestyle holo holo. We, we had an appointment already yeah. in town, so we figured why not just take you around, cruise in town with us, show you a little bit about what we do day to day, get some good food, catch some local vibes, some support local vibe. some local business. We're at Ulumana, the Ulu chip factory in downtown Honolulu. We need gift basket stuff because I'm always running around last minute getting all the stuff and putting it together, and we thought, what better place than this all locally sourced, owned by a couple of our friends, Kenji's good friend, my really good friend. We got clients closing and we wanna, you know, we always like to give something a little special for that. Maybe we just make this a trend and do this. I think I would like to do that. For one, we support a local company, but two, it's very on brand. It's cool, it's bright, loud, but tasteful. <laughs> yeah. It's local. Yeah. It's very on brand for us. So giving these items to our clients at closing, mm -hmm. Good. You guys know what Ulu is? That's a Ulu. Do we have a, a real Ulu in here? It's Mr. Lawrence. The man Shoo. himself can tell us what is Ulu. Ulu is a locally grown starchy fruit. It grows on the trees here. Easy to pick, um, easy to grow, drought resistant. Um, the Polynesians brought it here about 700 years ago. So we are currently in Ulu season. So whenever I see this, I get super stoked. <laughs> you can treat it just like a potato. You can make it into chips, mash it, fry it, bake it, steam it. Of course, we do make chips out of it. Uh, we also make hummus, believe it or not. It looks and tastes just like hummus, but again, made out of locally grown ulu. I saw this. Like a liquid IV kind of thing. Yep. It's like a local yep. liquid IV, right? That's a yeah. great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah. She's, she's doing really well. Um, it's really popular. I'll buy anything with Lihi Moy. Yeah. She really will. I really will <laughs> buy anything really with Lihi Moy. This is for me, yeah. so I'll Venmo you back for this. <laughs> the struggle is, I think these hats are super cool, but I got a big head. So, fits a little snug, but what color should I get? I think the black is safe, but the earthy tones, you know? It's, it's just tight, I have a big head, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah where I'm like this, yeah. That's gonna make a difference. <laughs> just just <hold> it <laughs> Wait, should I put the brown one back on? Actually, yeah, the brown's good. Yeah. Brown. Oh yeah, by the way, Mahe, you have a new listing. Okay, uh, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's a unique building. One just went for 800,000 cash. It's hard to find this much square footage in the middle of town like this. Interesting, unique location. I would venture to say probably, I don't know, you, Kenji's been to a lot of places. Every time I'm like, but you've never been here, Kenji's like, oh yeah, actually you're going in the wrong way. So it's a unique place. I don't think most people think about condo living in this area. There's people still living in it, but we're gonna do a little... Sneaky peek. What do you think? I don't know. I think it might be kind of cool. The cityscape a mm -hmm. bit. I feel like this is a good floor because you have all of these like low rises up here yeah in this area so you feel like you have some kind of view and with the crane and the half done building like implying like oh it's going to close in on you over time i just don't like the crane right yeah but, but this can. but i don't love that building well too bad we just don't look at that building then i'm just processing kid i don't mind that this building. is how we work so we're here at our upcoming listing on mm -hmm. birch street we're probably five days out because okay. she wants to list soon this is such a unique property i didn't yeah. know you had seen this building before Pretty i assume recently. you didn't Pre i mean it's such a small unique thing i was like she's not, they're not gonna know oh no and i was like oh yeah yeah i've been here that's the one with the thing yeah, and with the that. she knew yeah. more than i yeah. did the intention for this visit is one meet jen who's a really amazing property manager we already love her and we're gonna have to work with her in this process because uh, for showings, for mm -hmm. access, you know, mm -hmm. the property's currently being rented. I think what we're gonna do is take the old vacant photos, repurpose them, enhance them. With people living in here, it's not a full setup for us to get a new media package. Right. Yeah. So you were thinking probably drone out here. I think here. drone would be worth it. I think doing something on this lanai and really kind of like making a focal point out of the usable space out here Could and actually clean being able that to table. Yeah. Move when it. I was thinking like for media, a coffee moment out yeah, here yeah, yeah. and then like boom, out there. Proximity to how close it is to everything in the area, the low rises around us, even the church being right there. So I love that because it's just kind of an open thing here. Yeah. If someone's living in a home and they can't move out, sometimes mm -hmm. we'll, we'll still partially stage it. So like our Ho'opiri listing right. that's coming. That's a lot easier when it's owner occupied. It's owner occupied, mm -hmm. but this probably not a candidate for partial staging inside. But I'm sure they wouldn't mind if we do something Just with this. Just like a make cute it a little, moment out here. Especially, you know, the yeah. tenants being who they are. Yeah. One of the things that Jen, property manager, emphasized, it's quiet. Mm -hmm. For being right in the middle of town, Honolulu, yeah. right in the middle of the city, super quiet. It's like if there's a like a little atoll with <laughs> like waves crashing. Oh, wow, yeah. Uh -huh. But you're far, far enough in the middle, you don't really hear the ocean too bad. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of what's happening. Yeah. Like, yeah. King Street's right there. And, you know, everything's right here, but yeah. you don't hear it. Yeah, I like this area. It's cool because when we're kind of pulling in here, it's one of the few areas in like town 
where you're still like, oh wow, still got single family home right over there. Yeah, you know? yeah, like, yeah. A house right yeah, there. Yeah, there, it's that type of neighborhood where it's not just blocks of big buildings smashed together. So there's still character, there's still low rise, there's still single families, older community, but also super close to like Right, Word you're, and uh, what is that, a block or two to Kelmoku? Very close. Yeah, Alamona Shopping Center is easy right there. I can see the parking structure from here. Yeah, walkable to Agas. Whole, Whole Foods. Foods. You yeah. could walk to You could mm -hmm. probably jump on a bike. Let's keep it real. Okay. I could walk. No, you could, but you're probably going to choose the bike. Now, we know that a just built condo and the vibe and the feel is different than a condo mm -hmm. that is more proven, like our condo here that we're yeah. going to be selling. But all things the same. Would you rather like live in a building? It has another building blocking it. No, immediately. But no. is <laughs> what's the rest can, of the question? Can I finish? Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather live in a building that has another building blocking it, but you're in the heart, you know, really closer to some of the Whole Foods and whatever? Yeah. Or get to the middle of the tall, like be back here where mm -hmm. it's open, but then you're a two or three block walk. I would prefer this just because, for starters, and probably I don't know about you guys, but for me, like this lanai, yeah, this yeah. square footage, you cannot accomplish that in Those that. Those buildings community. don't have it. You just you can't. have to go to a, a communal than I. Yeah. Everyone goes to one. You have an amenity deck, yeah, whatever. Amenity deck, yeah. That's cool. But like me having a personal space where I can like put my plants out here, do my plants, stuff. Yeah. Like <laughs> this is perfect. I would rather be. I'd rather walk ten minutes than two minutes and have more square footage and still be very close to the heart of everything. Yeah. My neighbor can or my guest, my friend from the other side of town. You can come. You can street park. Still get street parking over Still here. Still get street parking. You know, not like someplace in these buildings. We're gonna respect Jen's time. She has to get going. We're gonna show you guys some of the stuff around here. Yeah. I just wanna say, Mahe is the kind of person that <laughs> would not get an HOA fine necessarily for her parking or for anything else, but it'll be for too many plants. I can push on the, the deck. limits on the plant rules. <laughs> <laughs> we just passed the Zippy's administration building, cool. and I feel like we need to go in there and get sponsored. We're on King Street. Okay. For the people who are holo holoing with us. Right, we just passed Macaulay. You just passed Macaulay, which means you could have stopped and got what? I don't know. What? What's what's Macaulay to you? To me, it's Macaulay chop suey, which Wai is not Ola there Shiva. anymore. The original white Yeah, but Ola it's Shiva. too hot today. It would melt before you could even eat it. We are about to stop in. Up there, my dad's top five favorite places to eat. Fukuya. What Fukuya. you guys know about Fukuya? I'm going to be honest. Uh, I never had Fukuya before. She what waiting, is she doing? She's waiting for the other car. She's waiting oh, for the I car. See. Parking situation is critical at Fukuya. It's always been like this. We would have been okay if this person wasn't blocking, but oh. they, you know what? This is this is going to Fukuya kind of things. Oh, I still get one minute. Only $1.50 an hour. I'll just go Marama the next person. We're going to do a whole video commemorating my father on this channel, but for now, I took due care this past weekend. He's like, I want to eat where Granka. We got, he called him Granka when I came when, we were young, when he was young, so it stuck. So I want to eat where Granka would want to eat, and I was trying to think, and we ended up here. Two times in one week for me. See what you guys think. Yeah. The thing is, we're not by the unit. We're like a five minute, you know, wood traffic lights away down King Street. But this is still town yeah. kind things, right? Yeah. Even if you're of like those 10 blocks of King Street, you just go down and this is all, you're gonna be hitting all these spots. Yeah, for sure. My favorite but most basic thing is just like a show you hot dog. It's just like all what I want all the time. And then uh, one nori chicken, that's perfect for me. Thank you. Yeah, so I was like, I kind of want this, but I knew you would get something that I wanted so I could just eat from your plate. <laughs> one con sushi, veggie croque, nishime, kabocha, hot dog and terry beef, namasu, and oh, what is this? A mac salad, please. I'll text you to the phone. Hey, you gotta give somebody else the camera. <laughs> I got Google this past weekend too. Vegetable? Okay, is that it? You sure? You owe me $100. Oh. Derek texted me, $100 can't you get fish? Yeah, and he did not so. How are you not gonna get fit? Bro, you cost me 100 bucks. I feel like I owe you money already, so I'm just like. <laughs> All right, guys, so as always, go to coreteamhawaii.com. If you wanna see this upcoming condo mm -hmm. on Birch Street that mm -hmm. we. Sort of premiered, previewed. Kind of soft, pre soft opening. Price TBD. In the next couple of days, going into next week, it'll be on the market. We've done every neighborhood on this channel. You, we, we can link our Kailua, Hawaii, <laughs> countless ever. We've done the whole island. I think it's important for local people, local people who have 
moved away. Yeah. Our local people here. They just want to vibe with us. They right? do. Leave us a comment if you're one of these people. But I know we got a lot of viewers who have moved away from home. And the real reason they watch our, our channel, even though we're a real estate company, we're a real estate team. Yeah. And this is a real estate channel. I know we have our local people who left home who watch us just to reminisce, just to feel the vibe, just, just the to feel like they're home. We want to support that. And sometimes it's good to just like, we're driving around today reminiscing about your dad and, and our childhoods. It's good to do that. Hope you guys like this one. Leave us a comment. By the way, we have a farm coming soon. Yeah. This thing coming soon. Excited to talk to you guys about that. We gotta too. tell you more about that. Yeah. That'll be an amazing video. But let us know what you want to see. Yeah. See you guys on the next one. I've had someone give me Ulu and I'm like, and I'm like, oh, it. thank you so much. Yeah. What am I gonna do with this? <laughs> Easy things is immediately just throw it in the fridge. Uh, that'll help it last longer because if you leave it out, it'll go soft really fast. Okay. And then again, just treat it like a potato. Like you would maybe skin a potato, then you could boil it in water, which I actually like a lot with a little like uh, mashed chili. Potato, mashed not, not even, just uh, boil it like in cubes and put like chili pepper water. Super good. Oh, super yeah? simple, super good. I haven't recently bought the dip or the hummus. Yeah, I, yeah. I, used buy, I used to buy two of those a week. Yeah. And just pound them. <laughs> Anywhere in the US as well, FedEx two day shipping, hundreds of great local products. Of course, um, we do ship our chips and our hummus as well too.